Just waiting for a few people to jump on here. Hi. I'm waiting on a few more people to get on here. Please let me know if y'all can't hear me. I'm outside today. I'm waiting on people to get on here. I'm about to go through my um, journaling exercise for the day. So, I didn't want to talk to myself. I know yesterday I like started immediately and then more people joined and then I was recapping a few times. Hey India, excited to have you. Let me know if y'all can't hear me by the way. Cause, hey. Cause I don't know if you guys can hear me since I'm outside. Um, But I'm just gonna let a couple more people sign on before I start getting into the into today's exercise um I'm losing my voice a little bit I think it's my allergies hey guys tell me something good how has your first two days been going so far it hasn't been that many days if you're doing the journaling exercises are they going well um, or just how was your day in general while we get ready? Hey, Kendall. Y'all, my eyebrows look crazy. Um, talk to me for a bit before we start because I, I just don't want to rush through this one or start moving too fast before people can get settled in. Tino, Tino, don't eat that. Come here. Hey! Um, says my day was great. I'm exhausted, but I'm doing well. You know what? I'm exhausted too. And I don't even feel like I did that much today. I did a lot of thinking, but I didn't do much physical labor at all. But I'm tired. But I'm glad you're doing well, and I'm glad to have you on the live chat. Oh, I guess. I guess I can go ahead and start. Hey, line sister. Um, so today's, Tino, come here. Come here. I'm sorry, y'all. He's eating things he shouldn't be eating. Okay. Um, so yesterday's exercise, we counted our wins and we celebrated ourselves and we said, you know how proud of ourselves we are and we thank God for our progress and everything like that um, and today might be a little bit more difficult even though yesterday was pretty difficult for me in particular but also for a couple other people who said they have a hard time being able to be proud of themselves when they think about all the things that they didn't do well and so yesterday we challenged ourselves to not focus on that at all and to just you know say congratulations self you did that so today, it's taking a little more difficult turn, and we're going to be talking about disappointments on day two. Now, let me, again, like I said yesterday, um, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a counselor, and so sometimes these disappointments take more than a one-day journal exercise to get over and get past and heal from. So if you need to seek some other kind of counseling or do a series of exercises and continue a journey towards getting past disappointment, please go do that, like for real. Um, so today we're talking about disappointments. Um, and so the task today was to write about, write out some of your disappointments. Um, and this is not necessarily, I, I made it a point to say disappointments instead of failures because yesterday we did wins and I didn't want the next day to be let's focus on our failures let's focus on the disappointment okay because failure is going to happen it's it's a part of life we fail at things we learn the lessons and we move on but it's the disappointment in ourselves and in the situation and in other people um, that comes with those failures that is what we should be in my opinion for this exercise dealing with I don't want to deal with failure and how how you failed why you failed you can do that but we're not going to do that today we're only going to be dealing with disappointment 
And so when we talk about disappointment, we are listing, or when we write about our disappointments, we're going to list our disappointments. And you can split your list the way we did yesterday. Yesterday, we split our wins into outer and inner accomplishments. So you can do your disappointments that way, too. You can, you can detail what you are disappointed with that or disappointed in that happened on the outside and then you can talk about what you might be disappointed in yourself for um some shortcomings you had but talk about what there is to be upset about and why you're upset about it um and the why you're upset about it is really important because we need to be honest with ourselves about why we are disappointed in how certain things turned out or disappointed in our behaviors um anything like whatever it is that you're disappointed in so for instance I am disappointed in the way that I handled a certain situation with that involved another person and I wrote that down and then when I went to ask myself why hey um, when I went to ask myself why I'm disappointed in that um, it's because the situation ended up hurting the both of us for the most part like it wasn't just I could have done without handling the situation that way. It didn't call for any of the way that I behaved. So I was just disappointed in the way that I behaved. And now someone can basically say that I mistreated them or whatever. And I'm not happy about that. Um, so even after I surprised, su surprised what? Even after I apologized to this person, it's still difficult for me to deal with that because it felt out of character for myself and I just did the most so when you talk about those things um, talk to yourself write about them um, ask yourself the why why are you disappointed what um, what does the how does this disappointment make you feel um, and then ask yourself is there anything I can do about this disappointment at this particular time Whatever has happened, some, some of our disappointments, we hold on to them and we just keep replaying it over and over and over in our minds. And I'm talking to myself on this one because I do that all the time. All of my most embarrassing moments, stuff that happened eight years ago, I still think about it. Like, And I think about how embarrassing it is and how disappointed in myself I am. So think about that type of stuff and um, ask I'm I'm really sorry y'all. My dog keeps eating things. Stop. Before you be sick. I don't have time for this. I'm trying to talk to people on Instagram live. Anyway, so um when you're talking about your disappointments, you're asking yourself the why, and then um you're asking yourself how that made you feel, and then you're asking yourself what can I do about it at this point? And a lot of times after a disappointment, literally the only thing you can do is move on from it. Especially if you've already said your apologies, if you've already gotten your apology, if you know you'll never get an apology from this person. It's time to look in ourselves, ask ourselves what it is that we can do about this situation, and then take our actions from there. And so a piece of that process is releasing it. Um, releasing the disappointment as part of our responsibility. Sometimes we feel very responsible to hold on to that disappointment. Um, and and we place a lot, like we continuously beat ourselves up over the same thing over and over again when there's literally nothing that nothing else that can be done about it. So there needs to be a release. And that is why I'm outside today because one of my instructions said that once you have released it, I believe in symbolism a lot. Like I believe that there are things that you can do that symbolize something else that help you to make a direct connection to the thing that you need to do emotionally um, or mentally or whatever. So <laughs> actually, <laughs> so like when we talk about releasing something, I think that it's important to do a physical behavior that signifies releasing it so that you can always remind yourself and make that connection between a bodily action and a feeling that you need to have or um, something that needs to click in your mind. I think that's important because you're communicating with yourself that this is a thing that I did, not something that um, in theory might work. Like I did this thing. I let this go. I literally physically let it go. So. 
I'm outside today because something that I suggested was writing your disappointments on a piece of paper. The journal entry you're explaining to yourself what those disappointments are and why and what you can do about it. Then the exercise was to write those disappointments on a piece of paper. And I, I did not invent this exercise, y'all. I've seen this done a million times. And I've actually done it before a couple of times in a different in a couple of different ways. And I feel like it helped me. So I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, and you may have seen it before too, but you write your disappointments or whatever it is that you need to release on a piece of paper and, or on like a whiteboard or something like that. And you look at it, you read it, you take one last look at it. And then you say your prayer, um, of asking God to help you release these things. Um, asking God to help you not to revisit them because you don't need to, you know, we have the privilege of going to God and saying here here's all this stuff this baggage that's keeping me from what you know wherever the next thing that I'm supposed to be going to which in this case is the next six months here are these things that I don't want to take with me into this next season of my life please take them and keep them but that's also up to us if we're going to give something to God or release it we have to be committed to not picking it back up so and that's going to be a daily struggle for some of this stuff um, so maybe you'll just have to keep reminding yourself not to pick it back up. So anyway, I have my disappointments written on this piece of paper. Does anybody, before I start this, does anybody want to join this live and maybe talk through some of their stuff? I've never had anybody join my live before, but I'm not opposed to it. And I'm, I do much better talking to an actual person than talking to a camera. I feel crazy right now. I'm not even gonna lie. This feels so crazy. But... Um, let me know in the comments. Does anybody want to come on here and talk or ask questions or anything besides typing? Let me know. I'm going to give y'all, you know, a couple of little seconds. I would, but I'm at work. You tell them people at work that <laughs> you have other important things to do as well. Tell all the people at work to come on. We, we're doing some releasing. Tell them to write down their disappointments too. They can join in the challenge. Um... No, that's cool, though. I understand. But thanks for watching at work. Oh! And thank you, Bola. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. It's connecting. Hey! Hey! I'm in my uniform. Don't judge me. No, no. <laughs> 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 um, so what do you want me to say? Exactly, or talk about. No, no, <laughs> this is the door is open. Talk about our disappointment. We're listening. Things that we're disappointed in, maybe in the first part of the year, maybe in the next part of the year. Things that we don't want to take with us in the next six months. Right. If you want to talk a little bit about your you can. Okay. So today, when I was writing about my disappointments, my I had like four like main ones that have just really bothered me the most this year. And one of them was moving out. I haven't done that like I had planned on it. So that one has always, that's bothered me a lot. And um, a second one, I was in a pretty, like, toxic kind of relationship. And I let that linger on longer than it should have. And just so it's been bothering me. And so I did exactly what you said. I wrote them out. Like, could I have changed this? And, like, moving out, yeah, there were some things I could have changed. And then the, like, relationship the way it ended, there was nothing differently I could have did. So it's just like, mm -hmm. it is, I'm going. You did all you did. All you did. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, it wasn't, clearly it was for a season, you know, so let it go. Um, right, right. I put it down, you know, talk to God about it. And then I actually, I burned it just because, like, falling things don't always do that for me. So I was like, I'm just going to burn this one. Um, the fire detector, the little smoke detector went off, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> tell you that in the comments earlier today the smoke detector definitely went off and my dad was like you, you good up there and I was like yeah it's fine um, I'm fine 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 i am 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 and if you want to heal and if you want to let it go, then you have to do your part. You can't just pray to him and, like, it's going to just disappear. Like, Amen. Amen. Like, you can't 
dwell on it. No. You're good, you girl. Can, you can't get back to the house. That's why I did the people. That happened. That, that, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, that was my biggest thing. And so now I'm just like, okay. And it was really good, like, to do, like, I like how it was day one and day two, honestly, because it put a lot in perspective for me. Like, I didn't have as many wins as I thought I would yesterday. And so mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. like, for me to have not as many wins and then, like, the disappointments I had, it was just kind of put a lot in perspective. Like, you're doing a lot of praying, but you're not doing a lot of working. Like, you know. What? Not, what? Yeah. So I was like, it kind of that's was. One that's one of those realizations that hit you today. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when I was like writing my disappointments, and I was like, I could have, I had, there was like more control on like on my end. Like I definitely could a lot, of, did a lot of different other things. So mm -hmm. it's been, mm -hmm. been great, like for me, because I was like, you slacking, shorty. Like you really slacking, but it's all good. <laughs> like, at least now I know it, and I'm one of those people. Like now that I know it, I'm definitely gonna take like full advantage of it. So right, right, right. right. That's how I am, that's how I am that's too. And that's really why. show her like the challenges oh, or, like, good. And stuff before I leave because I think it'll be beneficial for anybody nice okay well thank you so much I really appreciate you calling in I'm about to release my little paper and you have a good night have a good night at work thanks you too bye bye uh, I didn't switch my camera around what okay I'm back guys hey y'all that was so nice okay I'm ready I am ready to get rid of my disappointments. Anyone else who has waited until this live to do this exercise, we're getting ready to do it. We're about to let go of these disappointments, and then I'm going to let y'all go back to your evening of responsibilities because I'm sure people have plenty of things to do. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Um, one fun fact. I'm actually really scared of fire, so... Um, yeah, I usually don't do this in my hand, so I'm going to throw it on the floor after I burn it. Don't judge me. All right, here we go. All of my, let me prove to y'all that my disappointments are written on this paper. Here they are. I'm not going to do it for too long because I don't want y'all to read it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but it's not going to be embarrassing anymore after today because we're about to get them out of here. I'm outside, so there's no smoke detectors. And it's concrete, so hopefully nothing should be catching on fire. If I catch on fire on live, y'all better call 911 and tell them that I'm located in Leesburg, Florida, and tell them to come get me. And Tino, you better help me. He looked at me like, girl, I'm not helping anything. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. oh nice. Well. There it is, guys. It's burning. Oh. Yeah, the ashes are scaring me a little bit. <laughs> but it's burning. Okay. Y'all see it? This is proof. I'm putting it down because I'm scared. It smells like... I don't even know what it smells like, but it's getting ready to be gone. So that's all that matters. And it's almost completely burned up. Okay, guys, um, thanks so much for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate everybody who has been sharing. Uh, I, wait a second, y'all. It's still burning, and I can feel it on my ankle. I'm scared. Should I stump it out? Can, can my shoes catch on fire? Tino, get away from it. 
Oh, okay. It's done burning. Anyway, thanks y'all for um, tuning in. Thank you for joining in this exercise with me. Again, this is not just something that I wanted to put on the internet. These are things that I do normally by myself. So it does mean a lot to me that, yes, you're right. It did fizzle out. Um, it does mean a lot to me that so many people wanted to do this with me. I'm not just like telling y'all what to do. Move. I was already doing this and I'm really happy that you guys wanted to join me. Um, yeah, because I'm, I, I'm really to myself and like in my own head all the time about this kind of stuff. But it really has felt good to share this and to hear and see a lot of you guys who have like texted me or DM'd me and said, oh, I did this such and such exercise and it really helped me. Or um, thank you for helping me to be able to celebrate myself because I don't do that enough. I had one of my best friends, she told me that um, she had her, um, the people at her job do it and they were really excited about it day one. That just makes me feel really, really good because I'm not doing it alone and it's not just helping me, it's helping someone else and that's like my life. I don't want to say mission. I don't know, child. Anyway, um, so yeah, thanks. Does anybody else have any other questions or want to add anything before I go? Anyone? Have anything to say? The floor is yours. We already had one person. Oh, I guess I'll do one more recap before we leave. Okay, so recap. Today is day two of our eight day journaling challenge. And today, yesterday we focused on wins. This day we're focusing on our disappointments. And um, so we began by, hey Brick, we began by listing our disappointments. And then from there, we, we asked ourselves why those things are disappointing to us. Like what about those things um, do we count as disappointments? And we're trying not to beat ourselves up. We're just trying to learn from the experience of being disappointed, be, being disappointed. And then after we asked why we are disappointed about those things, we asked, what can we, oh, thank you so much. That's really nice of you to say. Um, especially right now, because I feel like I'm less than, that. I don't know. I don't feel like I look bad, but I don't feel like I look great either. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, so we did listed our um, disappointments. Then we listed why that's disappoint, why those are disappointing, and then we took it to what can we do about it now? Is there is there anything we can do about it now? Can we change the thing that we're disappointed about? Um, can we do like? Is there any point of action that we can make toward these disappointments? And a lot of the time, the answer is going to be no. It's just that we're dealing with the fallout of something that's over. Like, it's already over, there's nothing left to do about it, and we're left with this feeling of disappointment. But we don't have to carry that disappointment around. And if you're doing this exercise, you're saying to yourself and to y'all, my dog ate some of the ashes of the paper. Oh my God. Get! Oh my God. Anyway, you don't have to hold on to the disappointment. You can let it go. And you have to give yourself permission to let it go. So I just did a physical exercise because I believe in symbolism. And when you want to let something go, it's good to make a connection between something that you're doing and the physical that you have to do emotionally or whatever. So um, the suggestions were to take write those things on a piece of paper and then crumple it up, throw it away, never look at it again. That's symbolizing that you're not going to revisit those things. Um, there was also burning it, which I already did, and which my dog just ate. Uh, then we talked about, what was the other one? There was throwing it away, there was burning it. I don't know, whatever y'all want to do with it, just make sure you get rid of it. And that is sig signifying you letting it go, getting it out of your system. And that's going to be a daily journey. That's not, I'm, I'm not in any way um, implying that after you burn a piece of paper, all your worries are going to diminish with that. Um, it's going to be a daily journey to remind yourself once you start thinking about the thing that you're disappointed about is you're going to have to remind yourself. I've already let it go. It's over. It's done. There's nothing else I can do about it. And then cut yourself off in the middle of that negative thought or in the middle of bringing that feeling of disappointment back to your body because that's what you're doing. You're 
your body is picking up a familiar feel feeling and revisiting it over and over and over again. And you don't need to do that. You're going to drive yourself crazy, y'all. And as I said before, I'm not a counselor. I'm not any kind of mental health professional. So if you need to see one, please go do that. There's nothing wrong with that. And it will probably help you a lot with learning more um, coping mechanisms and like more tips and tricks to help yourself release something that um, you've been holding on to. So I've done my recap. I've burned my paper. And I am going to let you guys go because I'm hungry. And if no one else has any questions, concerns, um, prayer requests, uh, church announcements, if y'all don't have any more of that, I'm going to be seeing y'all on the flip side.